Do the Bishop Grady, let y'all you know what the fuck going on for this BFF report, man. Stop the KKK, the Kings Killing Kings, man. Go ahead, get you a shirt at blackfoxnews.com slash shop. Support the movement, we'd appreciate it. And raise the consciousness level of those around you, you dig? Check this out, though. Attorney General William Barr, the dude that was hand-selected by Donald Trump, actually has um is in the hot seat again. So he was in the hot seat a couple days ago, literally, after having a uh, testify in front of Congress and being grilled, grilled like shit in front of them or whatever. And one of the things they asked him, they said, they asked him, if Robert Mueller had approved of the way that he summarized Robert Mueller's investigation report or whatever, uh, the report that actually went into whether there was collusion between the Trump administration and uh, Russia. Now, he said under oath that he didn't know. But the reality is that he was sent a letter by Robert Mueller, as, was, as I reported earlier this week. He was sent a letter by them. Uh, by Robert Mueller basically condemning the way that he uh, summarized the report saying it, it, it painted the wrong picture essentially so um, they're looking to hold him in uh, criminal contempt I mean uh, criminally liable essentially uh, Nancy Pelosi actually said this out loud so you know we'll see how this pans out Green War and graduate Report of the new world order, Bishop Grady. Lay on over the fuck going on for this BFM report, man. Stop the KKK, the Kings Killing Kings, man. Go ahead, get your shirt at blackfoxnews.com slash shop. We'd appreciate the love and the support, man. Go ahead, raise the consciousness level of yourself and the community and the people around you, you dig? But check this out, though. Um, and Robert Mueller uh, had this report that basically went into whether the Trump administration had colluded with Russia uh, for this way the 2016 elections. They also went into whether there was any obstruction of justice done when Trump had actually fired uh, then FBI Director uh, James Comey. Now, uh, who at the time was like, you know, looking into whether there was collusion. So, with this being said, though, uh, recently the Trump hand selected Attorney General William Barr to be in that position, whatever, and William Barr had actually given a, a summary of the report. Congress and the House, they was like, nah, we want to see the, the actual report. And then he gave them a redacted version. So now, Con so Congress has recently gave him a deadline that he didn't meet to actually submit the uh, unredacted version. And um, that, on top of him yesterday not even like showing up to, to be grilled by the House Judiciary Committee as the, the chair of that committee, Jerry Nadler, saying that they're probably going to hold him in contempt of Congress. Green War and graduate. We'll do the Bishop Grady lay on over the fuck going on for this BFM report, man. Stop the KKK, the Kings Killing Kings, man. We all we got, man. Go ahead, get you a shirt at blackfoxnews.com slash shop. We appreciate the love and support. Raise the consciousness level of those around you, you did. But check this out, though. Um, over in India, I, t I warned y'all yesterday, uh, uh, I believe it was yesterday or the day before that, they had a cyclone coming at they, their way and from the Indian Ocean. Uh, this is Cyclone uh, Fani, F-A-N-I. Uh, it was at 100 miles an hour. It was a Category 3, and now it's a Category 4. A million people have already evac evacuated northeastern India. So it's really about to go down there. It all is already uh, touching India. And, um, you know, they're, they're saying that this is the worst storm that to actually hit the country in the last 20 years. So, you know, that's a big deal, especially considering um, all of the fuck shit that climate change has been doing or, you know what I mean, all, all of the fuck weather that's been happening across the globe, but, uh, if it is a glue, you dig, but, um, across the world, but, you know, just keep me y'all woke, man, Green War and Grad We'll do the Bishop Grady laying over the fuck going on for this BFM report. Stop the KKK, the Kings Killing Kings, man. We all we got, man. Go ahead, get you a shirt too at blackfoxnews.com slash shop. We'd appreciate the, the, the love and the support. And uh, raise the consciousness of those around you, man. But check this out, though. Over in Venezuela, so it's it's um been real active over there. Because earlier this week, they actually, the opposition had uh, that's led by uh, Juan Guaido, who um, other nations, including the U.S., have... Uh, publicly said that they acknowledge as the a actual president of Venezuela despite the real president Nicolas Maduro still being there or whatever they so Juan Guaido launched this coup attempt uh basically to get get him the fuck up out of there but this this attempt was thwart, thwarted so as you imagine probably a little blood was shed or whatever but nevertheless um Maduro actually gave a speech basically saying that you know like that that was thwarted he believes that the U.S. was behind the attack and all of that he's also called for um the arrest of Leopoldo Lopez who's actually a politician and a leader with on the opposition side uh you know siding with Juan Guaido so um that's it's getting pretty active over there stay woke green war and graduation we will do the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. Stop the KKK. Kings killing kings, man. You know this shit. Go ahead, get you a shirt at blackfoxnews.com slash shop. Find the link in our Instagram bio. And uh, we'd appreciate the love and support the movement and raise the consciousness of those around you. But check this out, though. Over in Cuba, I told y'all probably like last month or a couple months ago about how the Trump administration was actually uh, making it to where you can sue 
um, the uh, any company that's doing business in Cuba that is doing business in an area that was seized during the Cuban Revolution. Basically, uh, anything that was retrieved during the uh, you know under the, under Fidel Castro, and uh, this is all in an attempt to essentially like. Um, you know, reenact these embargoes and, and starve Cuba, which is kind of reversing what happened under the Obama administration. Hence why uh, a company like Carnival Cruise Line um, since 2016 or whatever has actually been, uh, you know, going out to ports of entry in Cuba and they have actually been the first company to be sued um, under this whole, this new uh, thing, which actually went into effect yesterday where, um, you know, it re-invokes re re the uh, 1995 Helms-Burton Act. So, you know, we'll see how this plans out. The European Union is actually going to sue the U.S. through the World Trade Organization about this shit. Green Wall and Graduate. New World Order, Bishop Grady, let y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report, man. Stop the KKK, the Kings Killing Kings, man. Go ahead, get you a, a, a shirt. Um, you know what I mean? Check out our other products, too, at blackfoxnews.com slash shop. We'd appreciate the love and the support. And raise the consciousness of those around you, man. Uh, just find the link in our Instagram bio. But check this out, though. Over in, uh, in, in Yemen, as you know, that the U.S. has actually been backing um, unofficially, but officially backing a war that's going on between uh, Saudi Arabia and Yemen. And I don't even want to say between because that doesn't paint the right picture. The Saudi Arabians have been bombing the fuck out of these Yemenis and, um, you know, causing all types of like disease outbreaks. Like there's a huge cholera outbreak going on over there. Starvation is at an all time high. I mean, you talk about over a million people at risk of starvation, all of that, whatever. Nevertheless, um, the War's Power, War Powers Resolution Act was actually um, invoked by Congress recently to actually get uh, Trump um, and the, our military to stop. Uh, giving weapons to Saudi Arabia, whatever, to stop backing this war. Um, Trump vetoed that, and Congress has just recently failed to overturn that veto. So, you know, the war games will continue. Green war on graduation. Over. The new world order, Bishop Grady Lay. I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. Stop the KKK, the kings killing kings, man. Go ahead, get you some gear, um, some BFM paraphernalia as well at blackfoxnews.com slash shop. Check the link in our Instagram bio. But check this out, though. Uh, Julian Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks or whatever, who was actually um, recently um, arrested by London police after staying in the uh, Ecuadorian embassy for seven years, um, essentially dodging extradition, uh, ba basically being sent over to the U.S. Um, to deal with, um, the, you know, the, the corrupt courts over here. They basically want to hang them over here in the U.S. I'll say that figuratively. Um, they want to hang them for, um, you know, as WikiLeaks, they've released a lot of information that's actually shown the U.S. being guilty of war crimes and, um, you know, it, essentially doing what could be considered uh, investigative journalism, but he was leaking a lot of sensitive documents or whatever. Nevertheless, they, the U.S. wants him over here to face this trial with Chelsea Manning, basically saying he conspired to, to, to you know, essentially harm the U.S. or whatever. And um, he said publicly in court, in the London court, that um, he will not consent to an extradition. So if they do take him, they're going to take him by force. Green war and graduate. Well, though, the Bishop Grady lay on over the fuck going on for this BFM report. So uh, there's a government watchdog known as uh, Air Wars or whatever. They've been monitoring basically how many uh, bodies have been racking up from, um, you know, U.S. airstrikes abroad. Now, what they couldn't have found out is that the Pentagon is actually gravely underreporting how many of uh, these civilian casualties due to U.S. airstrikes. Like, for example, in uh, Afghanistan, Iraq, um, Syria, Somalia, um, and all in those countries, in Yemen, in those countries combined, the U.S. admitted to there being 120 civilian casualties this year, when, it, when the reality is, um, well, according to Air Wars or whatever, that they actually, the number is 10 times higher than that. And in, uh, specifically in, in, in uh, Syria and Iraq, um, the Pentagon admitted to 42 killings when the number actually came out to be uh, about 800. So um, it's crazy. And this is in light of the fact that, yo, there's another institute that actually reported, uh, the Stockholm Research Institute or something like that, whatever, reported that there, uh, $649 billion was spent on U.S. military last year. That's more than the next eight countries combined, including China, Saudi Arabia, whatever. So it's, it's crazy. Green War and Graduate. We'll do the Bishop Grady laying on what the fuck going on for this BFM report. Stop the KKK, the Kings killing Kings, man, because we all we got out this bitch, and I'm going to tell you why in a second. But go ahead and go to blackfoxnews.com slash shop. Get you some paraphernalia, some BFM paraphernalia. We'd appreciate the love and support. Raise the awareness of those around you. Now, Facebook, do the same company that actually owns the platform through which I am communicating to you, um, actually banned uh, Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan from Facebook and actually said that... Uh, 
They uh, it also banned uh, Alex Jones and which I think it already did and Milo Yanop Yanopoulos. Uh, the gay dude that actually is like a Breitbart columnist or whatever and he says like wild radical shit now the, the main issue I have with this Farrakhan gonna be good cause he has his own platform the motherfucker got his own nation let's keep it a stack but the thing I have is just how he somebody that um has spoken so much truth brought so much truth into light or whatever is being categorized with um the likes of I won't even go at Alex Jones cause I'm iffy about him but somebody like Amelia Yiannopoulos somebody who just spews a lot of hate rhetoric and um uh, unfounded theories and shit like that whatever um this has to do with him alone being accused of making anti-semitic marks which is questionable green war and grass go to bishop grady lay on over the fuck going on for this bfm report stop the kkk we all we got and i'm gonna tell you why uh but stop the kings killing kings you know what i'm saying like at the uh you could get a shirt and other paraphernalia at blackfossnews.com slash shop we'd appreciate the love and support but yo interior De interior secretary uh david bernhardt uh, is actually a former oil lobbyist is showing this exactly why the the conflict of interest when it comes to who Trump is appointing for these positions or whatever should be addressed at the fucking door because he just rolled back some offshore drilling regulations that were actually put in place after um, the uh, BP oil spill back in 2010 the uh, Deepwater Horizon spill in the Gulf of Mexico or whatever worst oil spill ever you know what I'm saying? And there were regulations put in place to make sure shit like that doesn't happen. Well, he's actually rolled back um, those some of the, a lot of those regulations that actually are going to save the oil industry over, over $800 million. So, you know, this, this is horrendous, man. Green Wall and graduate. Go to Bishop Grady Lane. I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report, man. Stop the KKK, the Kings Killing Kings. And go ahead and get you a shirt. Support the movement at blackfossnews.com slash shop. Find the link in our Instagram bio. But check this out, though. John Kapoor, the uh, founder uh, and the CEO of Insist Therapeutics up there in Boston. Him and four other colleagues were actually convicted in Boston, uh, found guilty of essentially bribing um, doctors to prescribe fentanyl. Now fentanyl, as we know, it's the thing. It's the same thing that killed like Pimp C. It's the same thing that said that I've killed um, ASAP Yams or whatever. It's a very dangerous, highly addictive opioid. And um, this, whereas we're we thinking people going out from lean or whatever, a lot of times it's fentanyl. Well, this doctor, this is the first, this is the top, highest ranking executive person or whatever to actually go down from this. So you know what I mean? And they facing up to 20 years. But what I'm concerned about is like, yeah, we have the Sackler family as well. That's, 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 you know what I mean? Everybody is now starting to know about or whatever. But honestly, like, where is this, where are these drugs coming from or whatever? Because they not being grown in the U.S. or whatever. Like, so I think we need to look into that. Like, you military planes? We'll do the bitch Grady Lane. I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report, man. Um, Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh, man, I feel sorry for her. You know what I mean? Older black woman or whatever, but she might be a shark on the low. But she actually has resigned from being the mayor because there's an a ongoing investigation into um, basically her selling 700 bands worth of her children's books to companies and businesses that were actually seeking government contracts. So this is an obvious conflict of interest there. And apparently she was also like in the press conference and trying to like defend herself for that was also like selling clothing and all of that, whatever, selling her own shit or whatever. So this is a hustler for sure, for sure. But unfortunately, like, I don't know, she might she might just be going down for being corrupt. You know what I mean? Green wall and graduation. Though. We'll stay tuned. The new world do the Bishop Grady Lane. I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So over in Maine, a Democratic governor, Janet Mills, actually banned styrofoam. And that's going into effect 2021. Just letting y'all know, Green Wall and Graduate. Street support of the new world do the Bishop Grady Lane. I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report, man. Stop the KKK, the Kings Killing Kings, man. Go ahead and get you a shirt at blackfossnews.com slash shop. Uh, support the movement. Uh, buy some other merch too, man. We'd greatly appreciate it. But check this out, though. Um, over in Florida, uh, the Senate of Florida has actually uh, voted on a bill and passed a bill to um, basically require former felons which, who recently been given the right to vote in the midst of um, Andrew Gillum uh, running for, for governor or whatever, um, actually requiring them to fulfill all financial debts with the government before they're given their right to vote. So you're talking about, um, you know, all any types of fines or whatever, all that has to be paid off. Now, this is unfortunate, first off, especially since uh, voting could possibly change what what you have, uh, what you owe, you know what I'm saying, or what fines you're being hit with or whatever. But secondly, um, and you know, that's more indirect, but secondly, because this is, is reminiscent of the same things that prompted the Voting Rights Act being put in, enacted in the first place. 
And as we can see, you know, the, the, the importance of that. People always try to say, like, you know, what Martin Luther King did was negligible or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? The movement from the Civil Rights Movement, whatever, had the Voting Rights Act in place. And it prevented shit like this. So now they could play them type of games, man. Everybody know they owe something to the government, man. What the fuck? Green Wall and Graduation, though.